Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Goffstown Police search for driver accused of running from scene of crash. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Ray Brewer. The search is continuing for the man police say was responsible for this accident on Goffstown Back Road. The head-on collision happening around 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon. It appears an SUV crossed the yellow line as it was heading toward Manchester. Narrowly missed uh, one vehicle and then did strike a smaller sedan um, that was right behind that other vehicle. The injuries suffered by the driver of the Nissan Altima were described as significant. As for the driver of the Nissan Xterra... As soon as the crash happened, the driver of the SUV that we believe caused the accident hopped out and uh, jumped into the woods uh, and took off from the scene. Manchester police responded with a police canine in an attempt to track the man, but the driver got away. Police say they are pretty confident they will soon have the driver. However, things would be a lot easier if the passenger in the SUV who suffered minor injuries would talk to them. We have a pretty good idea of who the operator was. That The passenger of the vehicle um, was the owner of the vehicle, and unfortunately she's not cooperating uh, with letting us know who, who the driver was. Goffstown police say witnesses did give them a pretty good description of what happened, but they're also interested in talking to anyone who may have some additional information. Reporting live in Goffstown, Ray Brewer, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. William Gross named next commissioner of Boston Police Department. Let's take a listen to the video from WCBB Boston. State problem with agents who are smart home specialists? Now you can. Coldwell Banker, the real estate company with real advantages. To appoint Boston's first African American police commissioner, that means a lot to the city. It symbolizes progress uh, and it, it has concrete positive impacts. Chief Gross is a leader in our communities of color. He brings with him a lifetime of trust and understanding, and he's someone that people turn to for help and advice. And he's the right person at the right time for this job, so I ask Chief Gross to come to the microphone and say hello. from the community. He gets it. We go back many years. Some of those years we won't discuss. Uh -huh. But, uh, <laughs> but um, we've been friends as well. And one thing that resonates with, with all three of us is that the community helped raise us. The mayor has been a great leader. As I, grow across, as I go across the country, people often ask, how do we do it? How do we do what we do here in Boston? The way we do that, folks, is to have forward-thinking leaders like, like Mayor Walsh. And um, I really appreciate the confidence that you have in me for me to take the next step in my career as the Boston Police Commissioner. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for your leadership. And thank you for your guidance. He is a true brother to me. I'm a little older, but he's a true brother. 
And um, I think Boston is one of the best cities in the country. Matter of fact, I think it is the best city. As well, Commissioner Evans, he came on the job before me. We have things in common. He was a Boston police cadet. I was a Boston police cadet. He worked for his brother. I worked for his brother. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry, he, he was better, all right? The thing is, again, the police commissioner also, he understands the community. Lost school parents by the time he was 14, raised by his brothers, raised by the community. He took that to the leadership style that he applied um, as being the Boston police commissioner. And trust me, he ensured that it resonated throughout the rest of the department, through me, through a brilliant command staff, which was the most diversified, the most qualified command staff appointed by Mayor Walsh. We get community policing, and he has been a great big brother to me as well, and a great leader, and I've learned so much from you. And so thank you. And I know he had input in the decision-making process, so I thank you as well for your vote of confidence in my next level in my career. Now to the real good stuff. My mom's giving me the look. I told her I was getting a National Community Policing Award today. We didn't tell her anything. So I went through to everyone. I didn't tell my sister either. And I says, hey, I'm getting an award. You know, I'm going to, you know, praise Commissioner Evans, and then we'll get our award. So, folks, my family, I could not have done this without them. My mother, my sister, Davida, my sister, Waltine, who is not here, and my girlfriend, Marilyn, who puts up with me. Yeah. Uh, and, and like the commissioner alluded to earlier, we also have a work family. When we talk about the men and women of the Boston Police Department, both sworn and civilian, they are family. We are the first police department in this nation. We started in 1630. We'd be nothing without our law enforcement family. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Laura Dickerson, Ms. Nakisha Gales, who have worked with me over four and a half years to have my back and make sure I stayed on point. And they both have my mother's number too, so you know, you know how that goes. But let's talk a little more about my mother, because it's going to help me segue into what I'm going to talk about next. This lady from the top. Okay, and there you go on that video. If you want to watch the whole video, we will share the link with you on the Riley King Network Facebook page. All of us here at the Riley King Network would like to congratulate William Gross on his new position. And good luck. And we want to wish William Evans a wonderful retirement. Trial begins for former Kennebunk teacher accused of sexual assault in student. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW News 8 Maine. I'm very proud of, of this company, very proud of what I do and what we do here as a team. It dates back to Maine heritage and we're just working hard. And we have a lot of really good people ready to go and willing to do anything and hardworking. Jill Lamont Tang arrived in the courtroom here about an hour ago, and for the first time, we're now hearing from state prosecutors and her defense team in those opening statements. Now, uh, Lamont Tang was indicted last fall after allegedly having sex with a male student. She faces 14 total charges. State prosecutors say Lamont Tang offered to help the student with schoolwork, and they often communicated via text and Snapchat. They say some of the encounters actually happened on school grounds. Now, Lamont Tang's lawyer says that it's ridiculous to think that she would risk her dream job for this and that all of this is a result of rumors going around the school. He says that she did text the student, but only to help him emotionally as he was trying to graduate. There are a lot of people inside supporting the uh, former teacher. There were also some folks outside of the courtroom earlier this morning holding signs and rallying around her. We'll, of course, have more on this coming up first at 4 for now, live in Alfred Tyler Cataract. WMW, you say. Okay, and there you go on 
that video and that report. And let's take a look at your U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Monday evening. And here's a look at that U.S. stock market as you can all see. Tech stocks rise to record before big earnings. Technology shares rose to an all-time high on Monday as Wall Street awaited the latest quarterly results from some of the largest companies in the sector. Federal prosecutors have 12 audio tapes made by former Trump attorney Michael Cohen. Federal prosecutors investigating Donald Trump's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, are now in the process of 12 audio recordings seized during raids of Cohen's home, office, and hotel, according to new court filings. And that did it for the Riley King newscast. Right here on the Riley King Network, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Monday evening. I'll see you back here tomorrow with another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up later on this evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.